Welcome to AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. My guest today is Michael Kellen, Director of Technology for Sage Bio Networks. Welcome. Hi, Jeff. So let's talk a bit about what Sage Bio Networks does. Sure. Uh, so first of all, Sage Bio Networks is a nonprofit uh, organization. We are dedicated to medical research, and the the big motivating thing behind Sage Bio Networks is is how can you take um, how, how can you create open systems for improving the pace of biomedical research? Um, so a lot of that comes from looking at, at things like open source software and how the culture and practices of, of those communities work and trying to import some of that culture and adapt technologies there to problems that uh, affect human health. Okay, so how do you intend to change that? You have a product to help with this? Our, our main product is, is something called Synapse, um, and the, the way I describe it is, is kind of a GitHub for biomedical research and, and, and data analysis. Uh, so the basic idea is you can publish data or uh, analysis tools into, into Synapse and string them together in, in workflows and record exactly what, what, what happened in analysis as the analysis is, is occurring. So this is implemented on top of AWS? Yeah, we're using AWS very heavily for um, a lot of the baseline functionality that our, that our application uh, needs. Um, we're using uh, S3 as location to store some of these, uh, some of the data sets, which can be very large in, in size, and, and we need a kind of a centralized place to, to store them. Uh, we have our, our service tier and our, our uh, web application are deployed into uh, Elastic Beanstalk instances, and so that provides us a very uh, cheap way to, to you know, get, get some uh, services up and running, and then we can, we can manage the, uh, the growth of those very easily without investing in, in hardware our, ourselves. Okay. So we're, we're, we're a very small organization. We don't want to, we can't afford to, um, to have a very big ops team and to, and to you know, buy our own hardware. And, you can and more that. focus on what you want to build on the, at the application. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's one of the key benefits of AWS is there's so many services that solve so many different problems. It's hard to point out, out I had a one and, say, one and say this one is the reason to use AWS is, is really the composition of all those things that allow you to focus on your application logic and to not invest nearly so much time in the, in the operations of running a, a public-facing service. Now, when you say workflow, that I know that to me that makes me think of two separate things. It makes me think of a whole bunch of separate steps that I need to do from raw data to finished data, but I also know that you talked about the, the Amazon Simple Workflow Service. So, one, both, or how, how does yeah, that? Yeah, we, we use uh, we actually do use the uh, Simple Workflow uh, system as well for a couple different um, reasons. Well, the, probably the more interesting one is some of the scientific data processing that we're doing. So we have a project where we're looking at some of these large online repositories of uh, human expression data, and we want to do some processing of, of, of that data to uh, remove statistical artifacts, remove batch effects, do probe to gene mappings. There's, there's various um, aspects to that workflow that needs that, that go from raw data to something that's more usable by a, by a broader number of people. Sounds great. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to come by and speak with us today, and wish you really uh, the best of luck with, with this moving forward. Okay, thanks a lot, Jeff. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.